All right, just got it a nice workout in. Loaded up another 30 pounds of quick creep, as you can see right behind me in the truck there. Today I was not as not as fortunate as I was yesterday. I had people help me load it yesterday. Today, the uh, loadout guys there at Lowe's wanted nothing to do with me. Matter of fact, they were sitting on the other end on a load of lumber, looking at their phones and sipping their uh, Cokes. So I just did what any respectful man would, just loaded it up and went on about my business. But anyway, we got it ready and I thought I'd give you the next update. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on the next row of post here. And we've got this guy right here with the strap still attached, that one, this one, and this one, that's the next three. But I may go ahead and get four straps on the fence, get it level and do four posts anyway. That last post I've got to work with because it's right in the middle of all those roots. I got to get in there with a small shovel and try to dig that one out. But we may be able to get four. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So here's our concrete set from uh, yesterday. Got these set. Everything seems nice and rigid now. And I like it. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, shackles out and go ahead and start getting my next acre point set for the, uh, the stake and the uh, straps here. I am. I have on no clothes. <laughs> Always be prepared for the camera at all times. Because you just never know when it's going to be looking at you. Doesn't take much. There's really not a whole lot holding the post up. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the other two hooked in before we pull on it. Cause these are getting real close. Yeah, go ahead and get the other two. Here we go. I've been waiting to see this section pulled in for a while now. That was one of the ones that was leaning the most of all of them right there. All right. So what I have to do is just keep slowly working it since I'm by myself. Just take the level. Just keep, keep coming up here and checking it. You can see, you can clearly see we're still leaning. So just keep working it. But I wanna make sure both of these are pulled in the way they need to be. This one's definitely out right here. Let's see where this one's at. This one looks like it might be already. Yeah, see this one's pulled too far. This one right here, this will 
once we get the uh, quick creek down in there, I'll be able to uh, get this thing leveled up where it needs to be just by the quick creek holding it in place. So it's already loose. So, I mean, there's really nothing holding it there. This one needs to come on back some more. Another couple clicks, maybe. Yeah, pretty good. This is what happened with those dens down there. Once I had it pulled where I needed, I could basically just take the straps off. All right, I'm gonna keep tweaking these guys. I need to do some more digging on that post so that end will move some. This one's been tough. You can see all the roots in there. And I think a couple of these roots, probably more than two, actually run through that concrete so i'm gonna have to try to cut some of these i got my axe out here i'm gonna see if i can chop some of them roots get them out of the way because i just can't get the shovel down in there very very little room for a shovel to get in there hopefully i won't mess my fence up everywhere i go there's a root There's some that helped a lot right there. I got to get some more of this dirt out because there's more of them over here on that side. Keep working this and then I got to go. There's another post right there on the corner. I'm going to have to go outside and work on that one because this one's still stuck back there. I'm standing out here on the corner of the property. This is the one I gotta dig here. We've got that one, dog. And we've gotta dig that one also. That one's leaning in as well. So I just, see this is the old chain link fence right here. We're gonna end up just demoing that eventually. I'm just pulling it up out of my way so I can get in here. I just don't like that. I mean, this is what you get when you just buy a fence from somebody. They're gonna put it up as cheaply as possible. But uh, my plan is to actually fabricate some steel angle brackets that I can bolt to this corner to keep this from happening again. I know I know what happened when the wind pushed the fence back, you know, these two buys came out of these nails and just pulled it out of there. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I gotta love the roots down there. Roots everywhere. This one has proven to be the most frustrating post to dig because no matter where you stick that shovel, there's big roots down there attached to that tree. I've tried to get it the best I can, trying to dig around and underneath. I didn't quite fully cut that root all the way through, so I'm just going to pour it just like it is once we get this corner attached square again, and that'll have to work. I've got this one dug out too, but once I get it pulled back, I'll dig around the front side because a lot of that's the concrete that's uh, on the front. I can't get it yet. So we're making a uh, headway. We're almost done with these uh, posts here. Oh, it's a nice day to pour concrete, isn't it? I wanted to get this done because we had a fresh week of sunshine without any rain. So it's working out in my favor. Oh, I'm going to start with this one here and then I'm going to back the truck over to that side. This is the one that I'll have to uh, kind of level out once I get some concrete in here. All right, time to set the post with some water. We have one, two, three, four, four total posts set. You can see I've still got the straps on these two. Those didn't want to stay level. They kept wanting to lean back. So I've got those pulled level. This one's level and the fourth one's level right there. We are ready to start adding our water.
This one I got to settle in there really good, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another sack, fill this hole up some more. Settling down in there nicely. Using my El Cheapo strap out here so somebody doesn't come along and steal it. Or should I say they won't come along and steal my my good straps. They'll still steal this one. There we go. I'm going to uh oh man. Oh, dang. <clears throat> All right, looks like I'm gonna have to have a shovel and a jack so i can jack this side up i'm gonna i'm gonna put some screws in this one to hold this corner together all right, all right that should hold pretty good so now we got to get I gotta get something underneath this fence so I can pull it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, like that. I'll probably bring my toe jack out here and use it. And we'll get some screws in from the back side here and screw these two buys back together. All right, this is what we'll use to uh, jack the fence up. It is overkill for what we're doing, but it's the perfect tool is a toe jack here. You just uh, jack on this hydraulic cylinder and it just picks it right on up. So we'll set the fence right there on that. Lift it up where we need it, that'll work perfectly. Should be able to just stick this guy right here somewhere. Get down here. I thought I would jack it up to this too, Bob, but it ain't gonna have that much range. Let's see if I can just pick it up, pick the fence up, set it on top of it. There we go, there we go. Okay, now, now we're gonna be. All right, we got another ratchet strap here we'll use. And what I'm gonna do, put an eye right here. This uh, post here is still leaning out just a little bit. So I'm gonna hook a strap from here to there and pull this in just that little bit we need. Absolutely. Look at that. Like it was made for it. All right, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and screw all these two buys back together there. I brought my ladder out here so I could get up to the top 
get it done. I might even pour some concrete in this one later on since it's square. I'm actually kind of surprised that these corner corners were nailed instead of screwed like this right here. But we're gonna get it fixed up. All right, this whole corner is screwed back together. I even went in here and added another screw going from this two by into the post. I just think that's kind of a cheesy way to do that, but that's how it was built. I'm thinking about taking some angle iron and cutting them and maybe putting me some angle brackets right up in here. There might even be some cheap brackets you can buy from the uh, Lowe's or whatever to, to go in there. But that's what I was thinking. Make four angle brackets that ties these two buys into this post right here. That is done. We are ready to uh, pour some concrete in these holes right here. Now you can look down the fence here and see that one there is leaning in a little bit. But you, you don't notice that unless you're looking down the fence like this. When you're from the side, you can't even tell. I think we're going to leave that alone. But we are almost done right here. So here's the one we got, here's the last three that we need to uh, fill with concrete. I'm gonna dig this one a little bit more. The uh, original concrete is right there. I'm gonna probably try to break that out and pull it out like some of the other pieces. Uh, this one, I wanna try to pull in a little bit, but I don't wanna do it because these posts are still setting right here. I don't wanna disturb those. So tomorrow I'll hook in a, a eye right here my stake and pull this one in just a little bit so that we this is the only one that's leaning out just a little bit so i've got five five i've got seven bags of concrete left because i got two in the shed i'm gonna go ahead and start pouring them in right here last two bags of quick crete that makes 50 bags total that i have put in the ground and i'm not done yet i still got those two corner posts that i gotta fill up so this hole right here, it's gonna have seven bags of quick read in it. I have gotten my workout today. Is it time for a beer yet? Oh, might as well just keep it going. Do a little clean up, get some of this concrete picked up and uh, put in the trash. I just finished setting that post right there. So I'm just trying to get a little more done before I quit for the day. It's been a heck of a day on getting some cardiovascular exercise in, I tell you that. Man, tell you what, I am wore out today. This has been uh, a lot of physical labor, but it's good it's good this is the kind of stuff that's actually i enjoy doing this kind of stuff because it's exercise that i need it's it's good for you good cardiovascular you get a little workout in but man talk about 30 bags of quickcrete 50 pound bags load and unload it's a lot of a lot of moving so i'm tired today but i'm glad that i got done what i done we're not quite finished yet but we're almost finished i've got those two posts in the corner that I need to finish putting some concrete in. So I'm gonna go back to Lowe's in the morning and get enough bags to finish, finish that out. And uh, I, I wanna, <clears throat> I'm gonna get enough to uh, sink one bag over by the, uh, the gates. The two pipes that were drove into the ground that uh, support the, uh, the two gates, those things have like come loose. So I'm actually gonna pour a little concrete right there with the pipes that uh, go down in there that support the rods. Uh, you know, a, a nice solid pipe for the rods to go down in that's not going to dig itself loose. So I'm going to, that's just another project for another time though. But it's looking good. I'm so glad now that I can sit right here on the patio and look and see that that new fence, because that's still a new fence, is now straight again. It's not leaning over. That section ain't leaning over in the corner. So I'm real happy with the way that it came out. I still got to do a little bit of uh, shovel work. I got to get rid of these. Once everything sets, I'm going to take the piles of dirt and, uh, you know, fill in on top of those posts there where I put the concrete and just level all that out. Any extra dirt, I'm going to bring over here with the wheelbarrow and just bring along this side 
where this is a low spot on the back side of the patio. So we'll be using that dirt there. So there's probably going to be, you know, one more update uh, once I finish that out. And, uh, and then hopefully this job will be done. But I'm real happy with the way it's coming out. And hopefully I'm not boring you guys to death on this, but it has been a fun project to kind of share repairing this fence. Okay, we're on our last day of the fence project. I just, I was taking me a, uh, I guess it would be a 9.30 coffee break. Take another sip of this. Mm. Anyway, let's walk out here and show you where I'm at today. Today being a Friday. I have already got the last two uh, corner posts here set. Went to Lowe's this morning, got a few more bags of concrete and we've got those two corner posts set right there. So now I am on the uh, backfill portion of all this uh, dirt where the posts are at. I've already got the first two done here, the end post right there and uh, this post right here. So. Uh, as I had mentioned before, one thing I'm going to work on is attaching this corner post over here to the building. I'll have to probably come across at an angle to where this, uh, you know, in, inside support is. But anyway, that's going to be on the agenda. Probably won't share that on video or anything, just something that I'm planning on doing. Uh, oh, I was going to show you this also. Come over here to the truck. So in that corner, where the uh, two buys and everything meet on that post, I was talking about making some brackets. So I found these this morning at Lowe's, some of those Simpson brackets. These are just simple angle brackets. I picked these up because they're 90, uh, they were 98 cent. And I believe these will work right here. I'm just gonna have to bend them a little bit more. So I'm gonna go around there in a little while and use my protractor here to figure out what the angle is and I will just squeeze these guys in the vise and get them on the proper angle and use some long wood screws to uh, attach the uh, two by all the way into the corner post. So I just thought 98 cent a piece, that's a lot cheaper than me cutting angle iron and drilling holes. All right, so uh, the dirt, the extra dirt that I'm scooping up, it's gonna go right along this edge of the patio right here. This was dug out like this back whenever I had the concrete poured in here. I, I don't remember why this was dug out so much on this side, but it was. So we're just gonna use it to kind of backfill this area right here. And really what I need to do, I've just been uh, procrastinating. I need to add a gutter up here on this side. So this is another project I hope to accomplish sometime in the near future and have a downspout on that side because the the ground slopes that way and the water washes off that way where the truck is at. So another project for another day. So anyway, I'm gonna try to get this all finished up today. So here's the angle in which we measured our two bias coming together at. I'm going to put this strong tie into that angle right there. Let's see if we can get our vise to do the job for us here. Have to work it a little at the time. Pretty close, right about there. 
Another little squeeze. Pretty close. We'll do that on all four. Makes it quick and simple. The fence project is finished. We finally got her done. It is completely done. I've got all the tools put away, everything's put up, cleaned up, and the fence looks awesome. I'm so happy to see this. It is finally back to how it should be whenever it was first built. So we now have our pretty eight foot privacy fence back square and plumb to the world. And hopefully, hopefully a little bit stronger than it was with the amount of concrete that I put around each one of those posts. But I'm so glad that I chose to get out here this week and get this done. We had a whole week of nice blue skies without any rain coming in. It's been in the mid 70s, so we still got spring-like weather here. It's not too hot yet, it's not too humid. Good time to get these kind of projects done. But it's looking good. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It looks, it just looks good. And this is the way I remember it seeing whenever it was first built. So the extra dirt, as I said, I brought it over here and we've got it kind of spread out right next to the patio slab. And this will kind of settle in as it starts raining. And we got this just in time for some weekend barbecue. I'm about ready to get out here under the patio. It is Friday afternoon. I want to get out of here and smoke some meat. And uh, you know what, sit down and just enjoy my privacy fence. I love it. So anyway, that's it. We're gonna sign off. Hopefully you enjoyed this project and uh, come on back. Maybe we'll have some barbecue to share with you later. You wanna see the chicken and rice? Yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> it's cooking. Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna be good. That looks amazing. That smells great. Oh yeah. Delish. How long do we have? Uh, probably about another 15 20 minutes. It's too long. Can't rush cooking. It's You're done right. when it's done. You're right. I think our chicken and rice is done. Let's take a look at it. Oh, mm. it looks perfect. Is it, it done? Good. I will tempt it to make sure as long as the chicken's done. I think it's done. All right, that smells so good.